Welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, we are at Beefarama, Manaqua, Wisconsin, Oneida County. What a beautiful city. Did you see all the grills fired up? Man, all the different might, grills? They must have 40, 50 different oh, contestants. Oh man, they got them from on spits to smokers to regular Weber grills. Komodo grills, it's phenomenal here. It's gonna be a great time here today and come along with us today. We're gonna to do some wonderful cooking. Compliments of, of course, our good friends at Marathon Feed. Yes. You can two great locations in Marathon City and Wausau, Wisconsin. We're gonna be right back up, firing up the grills. I'll tell you what, Merrill. What? We gotta get a crack and so let's get it going. <laughs> oh, I'd love oh, to do that. Breakfast on the grill, <laughs> breakfast on the grill. Stay tuned, folks, good you times. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills. All natural golden plump chicken, Minnesota and Wisconsin raised. It's golden good. Cherry Delight, a Door County original. Renard's Cheese of Door County, get your squeak on. The Oneida Nation and the new Oneida Market. Crisp Kraut, the world's finest sauerkraut, proudly produced in Wisconsin for over a century and by UW Provision, The Meat People, and so much more. Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. It's Beefarama in Monaco, Wisconsin, and we've got a jam-packed show. We certainly do. We're actually talking Carmela's uh, beautiful bacon jam, and I'll tell you what, you're gonna see some gorgeous things with this a tad bit later on. But we're gonna do a little breakfast on the grill. Well, you gotta have breakfast. You know, a lot of people don't think gotta they have you gotta breakfast. have your breakfast. Start out the morning with it, a good breakfast. Look at me. It's the do most I look important. Like healthy? It's the most important look meal at them, of the day. Look at them pecs, huh? Well, Arnold, eat your heart so out. So breakfast on the grill, and we are we are of course uh, uh, beefarama. So the, on the menu today is some Wisconsin grass-fed beef, and we're gonna do some great steak and eggs on the grill. But in order to have steak and eggs, potatoes. We want a little bit of a, a condiment with it, so you're going to start out with a nice salsa. Yeah, I'm actually going to do almost like a jalapeno sauce. All right. Oh, good. Spice uh, very it up. good. I'm going to really add, add a lot of jalapenos on this. If you want, I've chopped these little babies up, and as you can see, I have left the seeds in there. All right. If you don't want them too hot, take off the seeds. But I like it a little bit spicy. Boy, those will get there. you in the end. Boy, that certainly will. Now we're going to tone it down a little bit. The main feature on this is the jalapenos. Sir. Sounds good. All right. I'm not using any onions. I'm using some shallots. All right. Or Thanks. shallots. Shallots. Okay. Well, I remember we have a guy go. I like using shallots. These are shallots. They're like a mild onion. We've got some chopped tomatoes here. And of course, we're going to use some cilantro. Cilantro's got that love-hate relationship Absolutely. that we talked Beautiful about. Absolutely, beautiful herb. I love it. There. And to put a little tang on this, we're using apple cider vinegar. Is your grill? Is your, you got a uh, skillet over here? Is oh, that I got, got the skillets on there. It's hot. I'm going to start out with adding just a little vinegar on here, not that much, on here. So we, the cast iron skillets. If you don't own a cast iron skillet, I've actually got my eggs cooking away over here for the for the eggs. But cast iron skillets are great. Yep. Well, you can smell that vinegar already. Well, you tell can. You. Am I and, supposed to be helping you, well, sir? That's okay. We oh, can bring on. this over. We're gonna we're gonna reduce this vinegar. We don't want to use that much vinegar on here. But let me put these shallots in here. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Thank you. And some some uh, jalapenos. Heavy on the jalapenos. All right. A little bit of tomatoes. Yeah, I use the whole thing. What Sounds the heck good. on there? I will place that back here, over there. Here, take this back. I don't want it back. Okay, okay, <laughs> I'll take that. We're going to stir that around, and we really want to reduce it. I'll keep on stirring, so we really mainly have yeah. Let me just real the quick thickness show that. up there. That, that's what he's cooking away right now. So you got the 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 the, the, the mock onions in yep, there. Yep, you got it. The, the beautiful jalapenos, some tomatoes. You put oil in there first? No, I did not. I went ahead and just used the vinegar. Oh, the vinegar. On there. Yep, you're definitely not going to use that. And then at the end, when we're getting ready to serve, I will use some cilantro on there. Okay. So I'll put the cilantro on right at the end there. So, so. you want the full body flavor you of got cilantro. It. So what are you going to do there, sir? Well, let, let's get our, our steak going first. Now, Wisconsin grass-fed beef, good stuff, healthy for you, and it's awfully lean. Now, I left the cap on here so we have a little bit of fat because that's the way Merrill likes it. But you can like certainly that. take that. I actually start out with a whole loin. And as you'll see through the show, I've cut several different steaks. So we're going to have, it's actually going to be a steak day today. I love steaks. And so we're going to actually put a little bit of olive oil over the top of that because I want to sear it up really nice and, and seal in all those beautiful natural okay. juices of the grass-fed beef. We're going to take a little bit of grandma hazels, garlic, peppers, onion, fennel, dill, celery, red pepper, green pepper, onion, sodium, and just a little bit of grandma hazels over the top of that. We're going to fire up the grill on a good hot heat 
and we're gonna sear both sides for about a minute and a half on both sides. And you can see the steaks are cooking over yonder here. So those are getting done just nice, and we'll platter those up in a minute. But all good uh, 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 breakfasts need eggs. You need eggs. You gotta have eggs for breakfast. So exactly you, right. Exactly right. <laughs> so if you don't have an electric skill, uh, if you don't have a cast iron skillet, let me just show these beautiful little eggs here, and we'll platter these up in just a moment or two. But I got the the skillet nice and warm, and and I put the eggs in there with a little bit of our olive oil. Look at that, they're just sliding Ooh, around in there. Oh, good, good, good. And all you do is just cook the eggs like you would at home. I know it's not rocket science, folks, but it's a great way to do it. And if you don't have a cast iron skillet, that's gonna be the key here today because yeah. we can also do some Cajun steaks with that if we wanted exactly. to. Exactly, you know, cooking with cast iron is very easy. You wanna make sure that it's seasoned first, that it's actually oiled first. The more that you use the cast oh, I got iron the seasoning. skillet. There you go, there you that's go. That's wrong? That's wrong. You wanna oil it first a little bit. Once you start using it, It'll start baking on, and you'll love it. I've had, I love cooking with cast iron all the time. How's the salsa? Salsa's doing good. Let's get the let's get the spuds going, all shall right, we? Sounds good. Yep. Uh, last night, what I did is I grabbed some great russet potatoes. I washed them up and I baked them in the oven until they're about three quarters of the way done. So these potatoes have been cooked already. They're cooled down, and that's actually the best way to slice them is when they're cool. So we're going to take that baked potato. I'm going to cut that potato into quarters. And then we're going to take, and like last night I marinated these, but you can actually just slosh a little bit of Italian harvest on there. Let me grab the cap off from here. This is actually a low sodium marinade of ours, Italian harvest. Great flavor, folks. I'm going to give it a little bit of a shaking. Okay. And I'm just going to simply slosh the, the, the marinade over the top of those little potato wedges. Get them nice and moist. You can see we're marinating them in a Ziploc bag. You'd probably work the best, but for television here. No, this works good for TV. You're doing a good job. And now uh, you could take these and you could actually have some Parmesan cheese over here. And I think we've done it. And you just simply roll those in Parmesan cheese. They're delicious. But we're going to do some nice little Italian today. Okay. So I have some Italian seasoning. A little wind in Monaco, it Wisconsin is. here today. It's coming from there. It's coming from there. So we're going to put a little bit of uh, seasoning over the top of those. Those go directly on the grates of the grill and sear those babies up. Let me scoop these off. All right. Beautiful. So the, Absolutely gorgeous. The potato wedges come out nice and crispy, and just a, a nice little tub of sour cream would be darn oh, good with that. Oh, man, a big tub of sour cream. But this is breakfast on the grill, so we do need a little protein with it. So we do have our wonderful beef, which is cooking over here. How's your salsa coming? Salsa Pretty good? Salsa coming along good there, Time sir. Time for the cilantro? Time for the cilantro. Why don't you cut Thank up a little you. cilantro? Right, let, me, let, me, let me put the, uh, the steaks over here. So now we have the grass-fed beef over here. We have the wonderful potato wedges here. Meryl's cutting up the cilantro. I gotta make a little room for my eggs. So I'm gonna put the eggs over here. Okay. And Meryl's salsa can go wherever he darn pleases. Yeah, stir this Let up. Let me grab a little bit. my eggs. And we're gonna have breakfast in Manaqua. Breakfast in Manaqua. Has breakfast in Manaqua ever happened? But <laughs> I bet it has. So we've got some wonderful fried eggs. Mm. We'll just position those right there. I'll save this one for me. Ooh, we've like got this. steak, we've got eggs, we've got the taters. Where and would you like this? I'm uh, right there for a little bit of right, color. You got a little bit of color here. I'm sorry to put this in the back. Pan that looks hot. delicious. Pan is hot. Pan yep. is hot. Can, oh, I can okay. smell those jalapenos. Oh, it's hot. Uh, don't you hate it? This is Merrill. Don't you hate it when things are hot? hot it comes out I the hate grill? hot things. Jesus, terrible. There's some uh, beautiful steaks. There's the eggs. There's a the wonderful salsa. There's the taters. We're in Manaqua, Wisconsin, Oneida County. And I'll tell you what, uh, we're doing some grass-fed beef. We've got Greg from the, gra the Grass-Fed Beef Co-op, and Wisconsin Meadows is the brand that they branded underneath. So let's hear Greg right now, shall we? Right. Thanks, guys. I'm Greg Nowicki with the Wisconsin Grass-Fed Beef Co-op. Our animals are born and raised locally on sustainable family farms. That means less fossil fuels are used to put meat on your plate. I'll have more about grass-fed beef later on in the show. Mad Dog and Merrill will be right back. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by the Oneida Nation and Cherry Delight. It's spring in Door County and cherry blossoms are blooming, painting the peninsula's orchards with beautiful color. When in Door County, visit Country Ovens and taste the wonderful fruit that these blossoms provide. Our Door County Original Cherry Delights are healthy, delicious, and capture the full flavor of Montmorency cherries. 
Sample our incredible chocolate-covered cherry delights, natural tart cherry juice, and tasty toppings perfect for cooking and baking. Located in Forceville, just 30 minutes from Green Bay. In the shadow of Lambeau Field, walk the path of legends, a historical tribute to the legacy of Green Bay football. Just down the road, discover more of what the Oneida Nation has to offer. Nestled atop one of the highest peaks in Brown County, just outside Green Bay, Thornberry Creek offers championship golf at its finest. 27 holes challenge all abilities and ages, making Thornberry a golf course everyone can enjoy. Seguli, welcome to the Oneida Nation. Wisconsin grillers can find Mad Dog and Merrill's signature spices, sauces, and marinades at these fine retailers. Happy grilling! Marathon Feed has been serving central Wisconsin for over 30 years. Visit our new retail store offering the same great products as well as pet food and supplies, indoor and outdoor home decor, and we're your local Green Mountain Grill dealer. We're also your full-service Purina dealer and carry food for every kind of pet or wild animal. Basically, if it needs to eat, we can feed it, including you. Get breakfast or lunch at The Scoop, our in-store restaurant with daily specials, homemade soups, and delicious ice cream. Marathon Feed, just south of Marathon on Highway 107. If you have a comment or suggestion about today's show, contact us at maddogandmerrill.com. And don't forget to friend us on Facebook. Fire up the grill with Mad Dog and Merrill and pop open an ice cold sun drop soda this summer. Oh, uh, drop it. Drop it, Merrill. Uh, That's my sun drop. Mm, mm. <sighs> I dropped it and it tastes great. Dang it, you dropped my sun drop. I'm sorry. Want a bite of my burger? No, I want a sun drop, the perfect summer soda to drop. Drop by your local grocery or convenience store and pick up some sun drop. MHP, Phoenix, and Profire grills used on today's show are available at these fine retailers. Go to ModernHomeProducts.com to find a dealer near you. <laughs> Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Uh, we're having a great time here at Beefarama, and uh, we're going to switch gears a little bit. Yeah. Merrill, I'm going to have you start out with it. We're going to do a little sun drop drinks. Yeah, I know. You know, you got to sit back and relax. I mean, you got to sit back and have a sun drop. You got to drop a sun drop. And there's so many things that you could do with sun drop soda. That's right. You know, if you want, you want to use it as a mix, if you want to have it in old fashions. Some people use it for marinades. You know, I like marinating sun drop in some uh, pineapple rings. Oh, Throw them right man. up, they're just fantastic. But here's some non-alcoholic, which is very easy to do. Uh, nothing very hard. I mean, if I could do it, anybody do it. But let's pour some uh, sun drop in both of these glasses as here. It's bottled locally the old fashioned way. You can drop a sun drop today if you'd like I to. I could drop the whole thing. To I be could too, with you. Yeah, I could too. drink this. Yep. A um, couple things that, that you can do on here. This is more of a non alcoholic drink. But I like using bitters. You know, you use bitters in old fashioned, That's but a right. lot of people have never thought about that. Let's just take some bitters. Shake them up a little bit. I just like the color on bitters. I like putting them on the top because they'll definitely sink through down on the bottom. Yep. And then go ahead and use some. I like using oranges because the oranges really the orange add a really good slice. flavor. I know it. I didn't slice my orange. But I like a big hunk of orange on that baby. Slice that in half. I'm going to go ahead and squeeze a little bit in there. and I'm going to put the whole orange, half orange, right in there. You know, it's tailgate time, and if, you, if, you, if you're the designated driver, it's a great way to do it. The wind's kind of blowing in here it in It certainly Manoa. is. Now, another one you could do, also very simple. Everybody's got a little bit of Rose's lime juice, a little lime sweetener if you like. Yeah, stir that up. I just love the color on there. A little Rose's lime. I've got some regular fresh squeezed lime juice. Squeeze that in there. Yep. Place that on the top. Sun little, drop. What's that? I'm going to grab a little bit of Rose's lime juice. I just Not very it. much, just a sweet. Or you could drink it plain, mm. stir that around. That's a really nice flavor. Or normally, you know what I do? I just sit back and have a sun drop and drink the whole thing, <laughs> is what I do. So, what do you got going over you there? You know something, we're at Beef Arama, so let's show the beef right now. We'd have some wonderful grass fed beef steaks. Uh, and this stuff's the cat's meow. Uh, Carmela's, it's a great restaurant in the Fox Valley in Wisconsin. But this is their bacon jelly. That's fantastic. And it's a balsamic bacon jelly. And they got a recipes where they just kind of put it on top of pork chops and other great things like shrimp. But we're going to, because we're at Ooh. Beefarama, this is going to be our little finishing sauce mm. here. This is in place of a steak sauce. Now, next segment, we're going to be doing some wonderful aw juices, some beautiful steak sauces in the next segment to go with wonderful steaks. But it's, 
We're gonna we're gonna take a little trip to Philly. To Philly. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do a little Philly Philly steak pizza. Okay, I love Philly. I love, I love steak. steak pizza, and too. I love pizzas. So we're gonna take. Uh, they're good friends with our good friends at at Golden Home, Golden Home Pizza Crust. This is their whole wheat. I'll let you hang on Thank to that. Thank you, sir. Carmela's. These are all natural ingredients, by the way. If I put my glasses on, and we had time, I'd read the ingredients in here. But, but it's like it's everything's pure. Everything. The tomatoes oh. pure. The cream is pure. The beautiful uh, beautiful herbs and everything else that's in here. Low in carbs, that's what I like about it, too. I bet Very it is, good. isn't yeah, it? Yes, I never thought of really that. Really good. Very good. So we're, that's our pizza crust over here. Now we're going to move that to the side. We're going to move that. The second ingredient, of course, we're at, at Beefarama. So I've got a wonderful grass-fed beef over Ooh, here. Good man. A nice little steak. So we're going to do like a little fajita steak. And this one's done to perfection. The mm. key to doing grass-fed beef, by the way, is slow and easy. And that's what we promote with a lot of outdoor grilling lately because cuts of meat are so lean, they're so healthy for you, just like the grass-fed beef is. Delicious looking, sir. Isn't that wonderful? Uh, I know, I really I want to take say, a I know, I bet you do, so do I. I. So we're going to do a little Philly steak pizza on the grill, and I could probably cut up another pizza there, but that's pretty gosh darn good. Sure. But in, in, in Philly, what they do is we have stir-fried peppers and onions and mushrooms, and I stir-fried these, I cut them up, put a little bit of oil on them, and I stir-fried them in our neat little basket. And we're gonna set those. Mm. I know. Oh. <laughs> oh. We're gonna take time to cook this one. Let me tell you that. Let me just spread that yeah, out. Hold take on, your hold time. On it's time. just television. It's our show. We got well, let me all grab the time some mushrooms. Want. I got a ton of mushrooms all in right, there. Good. So let me just get some wonderful mushrooms. I'm sorry. I love that. I love and if that. If we had a time, I think I'm just gonna stop right there. I could slice a nice little tomato and put it over the top. Uh, instead of the wonderful uh, cheddar cheese sauce that they give you, we're actually going to put some wonderful Wisconsin cheddar on top Good of there. Good man. We're going to slip this directly on the grates of the grill. Yeah, why don't you scoop that you. right off? Thank there you, young man. Put that right there. I'm going to place that pizza right on the grates, right on the grates of the grill. We're going to put the hood down. And when we come back, we're going to sear up some more steaks. We're going to do some wonderful all juices. Meryl's going to do a nice little steak sauce on yes. the grill. So stay tuned. We're going to hear one more time from Greg at the Wisconsin Beef, Wisconsin Grass-Fed Beef Co-op. So Greg, take it away, big take guy. Take it away, everybody. Thanks, guys. Grass-fed cattle rotationally graze and eat only grasses. That means there's little need for tilling, pesticides, or chemical fertilizers like on conventional farms. Mad Dog and Meryl will be right back. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by Renard's Cheese of Door County and Golden Plum Chicken. Hi, I'm Lexan with G&P Company, the people behind Golden Plump Chicken. Hunger is increasing in our local communities and it can really happen to anyone. Our company, along with Midwest Grilling, proudly supports food shelves throughout the Midwest. You can help by contacting your local food shelf and asking them how you can donate your time or much needed food items. Together, we can make a difference. A public service message from the G&P Company and Mad Dog and Merrill. Grillers throughout Minnesota can buy Mad Dog and Merrill's signature spices, sauces, and marinades at these participating stores. Happy grilling! Grillers, Mad Dog and Merrill here. Whatever your grill choice, you need great flavors. All natural American wood fibers, maple, oak, hickory, or mesquite and apple. Here's a Mad Dog and Merrill's great flavors tip. Take a sheet of foil, mix and match a handful of great flavors pellets, seal with a smokestack top, and place by heat source. In a few minutes, you will have competition style great flavors. 15 or convenient two pound bags, five great flavors. Available at Marathon Feed. Fire up that grill. Mad Dog and Merrill prefer to grill select meat from UW Provision, purveyors of fine quality meat. Ask your local butcher if their meat is from UW Provision, the meat people, and so much more. Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill here, the Sultans of Sears. The gurus of the grill. The hosts of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Spice up your next cookout with Mad Dog and Merrill's thick, rich barbecue sauces, 
seasonings, and marinades. Don't forget Dow Works, sauerkraut, onion, ketchup, and a hint of mustard all in one bottle. Dow Works for sausage, burgers, chicken, hot dogs, and more. Dow Works. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Mail products. Available at a store near you. Happy grilling, folks. Well, welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. And as the title says, we're always visiting the Midwest. Today we are in Manaqua, Wisconsin, Oneida County at Beefarama. It's a great annual event. We, in, we encourage you each and every, what month is this? September. Uh, September. To Thank take advantage you. of Beefarama. We're gonna do, I'm gonna do a little Texas. What are you okay. doing? Hey, I'm gonna do a steak sauce, a caramelized steak sauce on here. You know what's good about that? I got what? steak on the grill. Oh, good, good deal. I've got some onions. I went ahead and sauteed these really nice caramelization. I'm just gonna add a little pepper. So a little Worcestershire? A little Worcestershire, a little pepper. Yep. A little Dijon mustard. I like Ooh. using the organic. It's a lot better for flavor. I'm gonna stir that around a couple Ooh, can tablespoons. Can I take that home with me? Uh, no, <laughs> I'm taking that. You got the onions caramelized. I'm gonna use a little bit of our grill magic. I'm gonna stir this around and then I'll let you get talking there, sir, and then we'll top this. Well, you know, uh, sometimes talking gets me in trouble. Uh, Carmela's makes a wonderful bacon jam, and I said jelly, and there's ah, a big difference yes. between jams and jellies, but it's a great topping for shrimp, for pork chops, for steaks. You can actually uh, uh, visit them in the Fox Valley. They've got a great Italian restaurant. Speaking of Italian, we're going to do some nice little Texas toast, Italian toast right now. I've got some wonderful French bread here, Vienna bread, and it's pretty simple to do, and there's so many different ways to do breads on the grill, and this is one of my favorites. Uh, we take a little bit of our Italian harvest, which is a low, mar uh, low sugar Italian marinade of ours. I'm going to plop a little jarred garlic in there, and we're going to add a little bit of olive oil. And I'm just going to sit and, where'd my little, there it is. Sure. I'm going to stir that up a little bit. And this is my favorite way to do it. Just take the breads, a nice medium heat. Don't get overpowering on the grill, that's for sure with this recipe. And all you simply do is dip both sides in that Texas toast and that little garlic and seeds. I call it Texas toast. We're not even anywhere near Texas. I, well, I it's found that way. I know. And yeah, we're going to simply place those directly on the grates of the grill. And, and let me scoop these off. I'm going to platter right. these up. And just hold on one second. We're going to platter those up. We got a couple things going here, and I'm going to slow down. OK. This is that Philly steak pizza we did in the Ooh, last segment. Beautiful. And those golden home crusts are just gorgeous. Look at that baby just snap right off. That's how you want a great thin crust pizza when you make them homemade yourself. But speaking of pizzas, our good friends at Brew Pub Pizza make lots of matza, and they actually came out with a great new pizza, and it's on the market right now. And the, the, the pizza sauce is actually our Da Works. And Da Works is 70% homemade tomato puree ketchup. Right. And then we add Midwest sauerkraut, onion, and a tad bit of horseradish mustard. And if, I can, if we can show this pizza back here. Here, take it, ladies and gentlemen. This is actually the lots of matza bratwurst pizza. And honest to goodness, you can Please see the, right you can see the bratwurst up there. In Beautiful. fact, the, the bratwurst come from, we're up in Monaco, and the bratwurst are actually produced here in the Midwest. Yes. The cheese is from Wisconsin in the Midwest. The sauce is, and they give a nice little crisp kraut to go with that also. So now there's the pizza, there's our pizza there. We have the toast in the center. Ooh, it's time it's for good. our steak. All right. The steak today, as it has been all day, is grass-fed beef and good old-fashioned Wisconsin grass-fed beef. And are we going to hear from Greg again at the end of this segment, by the way? Uh, there's a Wisconsin grass-fed beef. Those are seared nice and slow, nice and easy. Sear them up on a high heat, move them over where there's no heat, or slow the heat down immensely on them, and they're gonna come out tender. I'm gonna cut one of these open. because right, go right ahead. I got a lot of guts here on TV today because Ladies and gentlemen, know. this man has guts. Honest to goodness. Now there, there is how you want a beautiful grass-fed beef. It's got just a nice little pink in there, nice little 165 or so, 170 degrees. So that's a great way to do the grass-fed beef. Oops, sir, I gotta spread that back out. Let's pretend I didn't cut that. All right. He didn't cut it. I didn't see it. I didn't it cut a thing, Did anybody see him cut anything? No! no! I didn't either. All right. 
Yeah. Only if he can sample Only it. Only if he can sample it. All right, as you can see, we got the caramelized onions in yep. there. Now you added the parsley right at the end. If you're gonna add any type of fresh herb or anything on a sauce, yep. you wanna do it at the end. The Dijon mustard really makes a big difference on there. So we're just gonna spoon that right I bet it up. does, doesn't it? Oh, I love the Dijon, especially the organic. I love it. Now what I you could it. also do, and we do appreciate it, if you go online at maddogandmerrill.com, maddogandmerrill.com, and you can cook on uh, uh, products or purchasing products. Uh, you can actually purchase all our great products from the dough works to our olive oils, to our marinades, to our barbecue sauces and our seasonings. And they're all made here in the Midwest and we do appreciate it. We're gonna be right back in about, oh, a minute and a half, two and a half minutes. Great show guys. Grass-fed beef is a leaner cut of meat, high in omega-3, CLAs, and omega-6s. Grazing cattle in a natural environment allow them to eat grasses and drink clean water. Their immune system stays strong and healthy without the need for antibiotics. We'll be right back. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is brought to you in part by Alcam Creamery. Following World War II, Cameron Peckham and Al Pulvermacher formed Alcam Creamery in Richland Center, Wisconsin. It's been nearly 70 years and many things have changed, but their passion for quality taste and excellence has not. We do one thing at Elk Camp, we make butter, and we do that very, very well. Whether it's in quarters, solids, whipped, or hand rolled, butter is an Elk Camp tradition in which you can taste the difference. Fire up the grill with Mad Dog and Marilyn and pop open an ice cold sun drop soda this summer. Oh, uh, drop it, drop it, Marilyn. Oh. That's my sun drop. Mm. Mm. Oh. I dropped it? And it tastes great. Dang it, you dropped my sun drop. Oh, I'm sorry. Want a bite of my burger? No, I want a sun drop, the perfect summer soda to drop. Drop by your local grocery or convenience store and pick up some sun drop. Domestic abuse can happen to anyone, yet the problem is often overlooked, excused, or denied. Abuse is never okay, and you are not alone. My name is Jennifer, and I'm a domestic abuse survivor. Your safety, as well as the ones close to you, is a top priority, and no one should ever live in fear of a person they love. If you or someone you know is being abused or in danger, call the Domestic Violence Hotline. A public service from Cherry Delight and Mad Dog and Merrill. Fire up that grill. Hey folks, Mad Dog and Merrill here, the Sultans of Sears. The gurus of the grill. The hosts of Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. Spice up your next cookout with Mad Dog and Merrill's thick, rich barbecue sauces, seasonings, and marinades. Don't forget Dow Works, sauerkraut, onion, ketchup, and a hint of mustard all in one bottle. Dow Works for sausage, burgers, chicken, hot dogs, and more. Dow Works. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill products. Available at a store near you. Happy grilling, folks. <laughs> well, we're certainly at beef Rama <laughs> here today, having a great time. We appreciate you folks watching us each and every week. I'm going to enjoy the Philly steak oh, pizza. Too. Everybody enjoying the pizza? Visit, yeah. hey, oh, good. Good. Visiting the Midwest with Mad Dog and Merrill. Pros, folks. Fire up that grill. Right now.